Let me just turn up the brightness a little bit. All right. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Three Stacks in this thing, baby, representing Team Kings of Games. And uh, today I'm gonna be coming at you guys with some in real life content. Uh, I started doing stuff, experimenting on the laptop, and you know, doing online replays and things. And I just started grinding for you guys to satisfy y'all. But I'm not gonna forget the roots. And this is where the channel started in real life content, in real life profiles everything in that nature and I definitely wanted to get back at it so I'm coming at you guys with an update for pure Orcus there's no machina cards in this this is a different variant um, not to say that the machina cards aren't good because they really are and they give you a full combo in a plethora of ways you know you have so many ways to access the full combo now um, but what I am showcasing you guys is a deck that has the potential to do a complete and total lockdown which is actually super duper strong for this deck uh, being able to summon True Kings of all, uh, True King of all Calamities, aka VFD. Um, now, how you're doing this is you're actually utilizing the Phantom Knight engine, and you're not really doing it the way people would think. So I'm gonna showcase you guys the profile, and then I'll showcase you guys basically essentially just a one card combo, which is still gonna be Scrap Recycler, and you don't even like to get the combo, the first combo I'll show off. You don't even have to pop a card. Like you could just use um the Wyvern to just pop literally like itself. <laughs> and it's still totally fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and showcase you guys the combo. I mean not the combo but the profile and then I'll showcase you guys the uh, the combo after the profile. So starting off with the main deck, I'm playing three copies of Scrap Recycler. Uh, so this card makes Orcus really really powerful um, because they're able to do so much off one card. These this day and age because cards like Hulky Fibrax and Olion exist it's not really a new thing and it's not really like some super special thing that a deck can have a one card combo because so many decks have access to one card combo now just by throwing jet sync around in their deck throwing O line and throwing some tunings and just calling it a day um, but this this card in particular doesn't just get you a combo it sets you up for follow-ups if you use your cards correctly so one scrap recycler can carry you for the rest of the duel as long as you use those orcas cards correctly and always make sure that you're sending a card like wand or skeleton to recur and make sure that your galate is putting out cards like crescendo because once crescendo negates it turns into a follow-up that you can banish from the grave to use it to search so scrap recycler after it resolves and you get the combo you don't really need to do any big combos after that you're basically just playing orcas your engines online now you're just trying to maintain the engine and keep it online uh, so this card's super strong it also gets you access to the um the phantom knight cards i'll show you guys everything um, but you guys should also check out my Orcus um, Danger Thunder Dragon deck, which was actually super fun. I tested it against six, six Negates, and it was really cutting up, even against Six Negates. That deck's super strong. It's another reason why I feel like it's not necessary to play Hand Traps, unless there's an FDK. Now, for the FDK, I will say, just side rolls in the beers, but continuing on with the profile. So we do have the three Recyclers, and then I play O-Line in my deck. It's not really a brick. Uh, you do have a lot of ways that you can get into the grave, and you can also just discard off your danger cards and things of that nature, but the reason why I play the one O-line is it enables my Scrap Recycler to be a self-contained one-card combo without needing any extenders to make Scrap uh, uh, scrap Wyvern, basically. Because that is just, it's crazy, you guys. Like, what you're able to do off just that one card, it's ridiculous, you know. And, like, and when your opponent has an Ash or an Imperm for Recycler, this is where your dangers come into hand, um, come into place where it's really strong. You could play a call by, but you can't stop an imperm with the call by. So I, I just prefer extenders naturally. And I do play the one scrap golem to go with that package. So this just lets me play my entire deck after I resolve the wyvern, uh, the wyvern combo. So I'm going to get into the orcus cards now. Um, I do have some fillers. I still don't have gear suits, so I'm proxying uh, three gear suits and the two phantom knight cards yeah so i'm proxying uh the three mech knight orcas gear shoes and then the phantom knight boots and the um also the quick play magic rank up launch i'm proxying those and then you know my succession is still basically a reborn as a filler but anyways continuing i played three copies of orcas nightmare uh <laughs> it's still the best one you know even with like Harpoor, you know, when Harpoor was legal and Mermaid was legal and things of that nature, this card was still, like, one of the best ones because it had more utility than Harpoor because it could send any Dark Machine. So people play Gizmet cards, you know. You could do some really cool things with Nightmare and Damage Step stuff. So I still think the card is, like, the best Orcus. 
And I'm using Dogmans as my proxies for Mech Knight Orcus Gearsu. So this is three copies of Gearsu. Gearsu is like in no way, shape, or form as strong as the um the scrap recycler, but it's still a really strong one card combo. If you play like Link Rebel or like an Anima in your extra deck, it could still be a really strong Orcus combo. But I like using it to make um Union Carrier after I've used it to um uh, basically you know make the token. I just link it and the token into the Union Carrier after I dump my Orcus card or my Wand or whatever. And then I just start playing my combo like that. Because I like to get the Phantom Knight cards, you know, so I can do the Calamities play. Uh, but the three Gear Suits. And then I also play uh, two copies of Symbol Skeleton. And then I play one Bombard. I, this card is super nice, but unless you're playing like some Needle Fiber, needle fiber Turbo deck, the card's really there for its actual effect. And if you have access to Borload Savage, you can easily make it in this deck because this card is actually tutorable through your Orcus combos. And you can easily use a card like Nightmare or basically one of your level 7 dangers. And you could just Synchro into Borload Savage and that gets you an extra negate plus your Crescendo. So uh, continuing on, I play uh, the two World Wands. And that's pretty much going to sum up the Orcus package. This is not really anything spicy right here. This is kind of like what you should play for your Orcus lineup. The only things that could vary would be the number of skeletons and bomb bars. But I feel like two wands correct, because if you open one, then you can't send it from your deck to your grave off cards like Nightmare. And then you have to do get it to, into a grave off of a really, really weird way, which might not be viable. So you always want to play two. It's kind of like when you play Nightmare for Nightmare, you know, you would want to have multiple Nightmares so that your, uh, your mer basically your, um, your Nightmare Mermaid would actually still be able to special one from deck. So it's kind of like that, um, you know, it's like that um, mathematical thing where you just really, you don't want to draw the one of break. It breaks basically as a one of. So then continuing on, I'm playing uh, three copies of Danger Mothman. I do play Dangerous because I just feel like these cards are just insane, you guys. I, I really think that Dangers are like one of the strongest engines in the game. I know that people have stopped to play them when they first were like, when they first were popular, when they came out, you know, and people were playing like FTKs and stuff with them. People were saying that these cards are so broken that they just should never existed. And now they're not really seeing any play, which is kind of like a, people are sleeping on them. But I feel like they're just super strong because they allow me to go aggressive going first or second. I could easily break boards with these cards. They're just super strong. So I play three Mothmans. I play uh, two copies of Bigfoot, two Thunderbirds. I play two copies of Chupacabra. And then the Nessie the Jackalope and the Suchinoko, which are the best ones, because if they miss, you still get something. The same with Mothman, because you normally have cards you want in the grave. These six, if you miss with them, it's good. But when you're going second and you miss with Big Burn, uh, with Biggie and Thunderbird, it's still fine, because at least you take a card with you. Um, and then for the final monster, it's the Phantom Knight Silent Boots. You can basically reveal him to special summon him if you control a Phantom Knight monster. I don't use that effect. His graveyard effect is what I use. I use him to basically search for a Phantom Knight's uh, spell or trap. You guys are going to see uh, which card I'm talking about. So moving on to the spells, I play three copies of Allure Darkness. Uh, the card, basically this and the Orchestrated Return, if your hand wasn't good enough, these will normally help you to make it better. Uh, just the RNG that it really, really helps you, especially when it comes to side decking, drawing into your side deck cards. Uh, this deck doesn't need hand traps unless you're getting FTK because it's really strong. Um, I can, if you guys don't believe me, again, I can show you how this deck breaks six negate boards, uh, or you could just take my word for it, but either way, there's actual video proof on my channel of that. Um, I feel like the only time you need hand traps is when you're getting FTK'd, and that's where it's like, you know, you really have to have them. Um, but these cards, when it comes down to side decking games two and three, these will really help you to see those cards. Like if you're siding in floodgates, you know, back rolls or hand traps, these cards are just super duper nice. And uh, continuing with the Orcus cards, I play one Einsatz. I think this card is very slept on. It's a really, really strong card. It will keep you in the game. If your engine gets disrupted, you can easily just, if the worst thing, you know, happens to you and the only thing you could do is make a Galatea, you make your Galatea when there's nothing else that you could do. You just, it's better to basically make a Galatea and set this. Crescendo's iffy because if the only thing that you can do is summon Galatea, then your opponent could probably just kill the Galatea before Crescendo gets activated. So you just set the Iron Set off of her and activate it, and you start building your resources back up. So you're in a grind game for just a little bit because Iron Sets get you out of it. It allows you to keep dumping Orcus cards when your opponent normal are specials. It's a super strong card, and it actually just allows you to snowball and actually take control of the duel. And sometimes you easily just out-resource your opponent with this card. So I think this card definitely should be played in any list that's playing any form of Orcus. The card is just super strong. 
And then of course I'm playing the Babel. And for utility, I play the Foolish. Foolish can be many things in this deck. Um, this is supposed to be World Legacy Succession because I played the Lib in my extra deck. And Lib's just going to set this from the deck so you get activated because you have Wand. And then uh, this is the Quick Play Magic, uh, Rank Up Magic launch that I don't have. I'm using this. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm summoning Ding Girsu on my opponent's turn off Babel. And using his effect to send a card to the grave. And then I'm activating the Magic launch to target him and summon True King of All Calamities on my opponent's turn. So it's just a really, really cool um, combo that I actually thought of. Just randomly, I was like, ugh. Because I just love making, like, random decks with all the dark engines. Like, those are my favorite engines to play. Like, I like Dangers, Orcus, Phantom Knights, you know, like, Burning Abyss, things like that, where it's just, like, a big pile of cards that have powerful effects in the grave, and it all just works together. So I was like, oh, this is another experiment. This is going to work. So, yeah, this is a crazy good combo. I'll show you guys it. And then I can't play one Crescendo. I normally play three. In this list, I'm just playing two Crescendos. But, dude, you just it, it, you just can't play one Crescendo. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, at least two, because that card just comes up a lot, you guys. It turns into follow-up OTKs, but having a second one just gives you contingencies. Because even if you have the first one set, you can set another one on your opponent's turn. So now you have Crescendo for now, Crescendo for later. And then your grind game, this card's just going to reward you because you're just going to make sure that you don't die. And also that you can play for the next turn. So that's going to be the main deck, you guys, for the extra. I will say, because... Um, I had to give back certain cards. I'm using budget options for cards like Opelousa, um, IP Mascarena, and um, Bora Load Savage. You know, don't really have that. And Access Code Talker. So I'll show you guys my budget um, alternatives. Because since you guys might be might be on the budget too, these will be good alternatives for you. So starting off, we're playing two copies of Galatea. You only really need two copies of Gal. You can easily recur her. Um, you're not really playing Orcus like we used to back in the day when Harp was at three. So I feel like two just works. And then I'm playing one long Gearsu. Now, Orcustrion's a really good budget alternative if you don't have Opelousa, but it doesn't work the same as Opelousa, but I really like this card because it actually, in certain instances, is stronger than Opelousa because it permanently negates the monsters. Their effects never return to them. They're negated forever like Lost Wind, and it basically makes their attack and defense zero. So this card's super powerful, and it's indestructible by battle card effects as long as it's linked. This card is just literally, it's the strongest Orcus Link monster when it's time to interact with your opponent. Long is cool because he's a one for one. Galate is only for your engine. She gets you disruptions because she can get you cards like Crescendo, but this card is like the most aggressive Orcus Link monster, you guys. Arcustron is very slept on. And then I played two copies of Ding Girsu. Of course, that's your correct number. You only need two, three is just doing way too much. And that's the Orcus cards. Then I'm playing Scrap Wyvern, which is part of the combo. And I play Lib, which is also part of the combo. I'm going to show you guys it. And then I don't have uh, Unicora. I decided for the extra deck to just do alternative. So I'm playing Phoenix and Cerberus. This could easily be, you know, Unicora. It's just, Unicora doesn't do the same thing. It doesn't do the same thing. But I will say, Dengirsu provides that removal that Unicora already has. So it's not like you're losing too much. It's just always nice to have a Unicorn. And then I do play Curios because uh, you do have a lot of ways to um, make this card because of your danger cards. And this card's pretty strong. Even off the Scrap Wyvern combo, you can still summon Curios because you have Wyvern, Golem, and Recycler. If you have an extra card to pop only, you'll keep it. If not, you have to destroy your own Wyvern, which is totally fine. I'll show you guys. And then for basically alternatives for cards like Access Code Talker, you know, this could also be easily an Opelousa replacement because... The decks that Opelousa is good against, Bomber is probably even better against. Because this, you can basically right get your opponent multiple times. This card is just huge. This card is basically like your Access Code Talker. It's your big beat stick. And, um, you know, conveniently, the card just nukes boards on your opponent's turn. This card is very annoying once you get it set up. And there's a lot of decks that just cannot beat this. And once you resolve this, you're probably just going to win the duel because it's going to come back. And you're going to put it here, where now your opponent is really just like, it's going to be very, very difficult for them to play around that. Because if they're summoning to the extra monster zone, it's going off. And even though we're in Master Rule 5, people are still Link summoning, you guys. Uh, and then for XYZs, I play the True King of All Chlamydia. And this Abyss Thriller is sleeve like this, because this is from my um, Plunder Patrol extra deck. So I just snatched it out there and was like, I'm going to borrow you from my Orcus. And this card, like I said, you're summoning it off of the Rank of Magic launch. Now I'm going to show you guys... The one card combo, the one card scrap recycler, uh, one card scrap recycler. So what you're gonna do here? Let me just grab Babel, the Phantom Knight cards. 
I'm just gonna grab what you're gonna need, you guys. And let's grab just like one of all the good Orcus, like Nightmare, Dingirsu, Golem, and O-Line. All right, there we go. You're gonna get a lot of stuff out of your deck off this Recycler, so you're just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna turn it this way for my sake. I'm gonna Normal Summon Recycler, activate its effect. If your opponent imperms, then you're just like, all right, activate, you know, Nessie or something like that. Summon Nessie. You play through the hand trap. You still do your combo anyway. So, anyways, normal summon. That's why I like the dangers because when this card hits the field, people are going to hand trap it. Because also, another thing Recycler does when you do have Opelousa is it's a one-card Opelousa. So, if your opponent has a Nibiru, this is going to also bait Nibiru. So, this card always baits the interruptions no matter what. Uh, unless your opponent is just really risking not using the Nibiru and waiting for you to summon Opelousa. So, normal summon Recycler, Sin O-Line, uh, generate a token, and then you're going to link Recycler and the token. And you don't need a card to pop for this. You could just destroy your Wyvern. You could summon Wyvern. I can show you what happens when you do have a card to pop it, but I'm going to just do it right now off the one. Summon Wyvern, use Wyvern to bring this back and then destroy it. Trigger Wyvern to summon Golem from deck. Destroy Wyvern. Then you're going to activate Golem. Summon the Scrap Recycler, and then you're going to use the Scrap Recycler to send the World Wand. And then you're going to link these two monsters into the lead. Then you're going to activate Leaves Effect, and you're going to set the Succession from your deck. Then you're going to go ahead and activate the Succession, and you're going to summon the Scrap Golem to the zone. Then you're going to activate Scrap Golem again, summon your Recycler. And then you're going to activate Recycler again. And this time you're going to send Orca's Nightmare. The next thing that you're going to do is, since these are both Earth, Earth Monsters, you're going to link both of these into... Oh, snap! That's what I forgot to throw in my um, extra deck. I'm supposed to be playing Union Carrier. It's part of the combo. When I was sleeving my extra deck, I forgot to take my Union Carrier out of my... Um, Dang, my plunder patrols. That's my bad, you guys. I'm not going to redo the profile for that. I just uh, hope you guys stay to the combo to see that. Because, you know, I don't have a bunch of Union Carriers. Um, so, I'm going to make the Union Carrier. My bad, you guys. So, all you really have to do, because Phoenix is not that serious and Cerberus is not that serious, you can just cut one of those. Because you have spot removal off of Ding Gear Suit and Long Gear Suit. Um, so you really don't need the Baby Nightmare. So you could just cut Surface and just put in the Union Carrier. That's what I would do. It really slipped my mind. It's kind of late for me. So summon Union Carrier. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to activate Nightmare. Target any of these on the field. And you're actually going to send the Simple Skeleton. And then you're going to go ahead and activate Wand. Reborn the Nightmare. Then you're going to activate Union Carrier. Target the Nightmare. And you're going to equip the Phantom Knight's Boots. The Phantom Knight's Boots is a dark monster, and so is the Nightmare. Then you're going to link Nightmare and Leap into your Galatea, which is going to make the Boots hit the Grave. Then you could just banish the Boots and search the, the Quick Play Magic Launch, the um, Rank Up spell that I've been talking about. If you play um, Phantom Knights, you probably know. So then what you can do from here is you can go ahead and... Um, uh, this is pretty clutch. You can use Galatea to shuffle the wand. And you're going to have to set and activate Babel to get the interaction that I'm going to be um, doing. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to go ahead and banish Simple Skeleton, targeting Nightmare to summon it. Summon Ding to reattach so that you can get extra resources. You need Ding and Grave too. Then you're going to link Ding and the Nightmare. I don't have IP Mascarena. That's normally what you should make is IP Mascarina, but what I'm going to do is just summon another copy of Galatea. And that's going to get my Skeleton and my Nightmare back in the grave. And basically what you're going to do next is set your Quick Play, Rank of Magic Launch, and this is a one card combo with no extra cards needed. Um, then you're going to go ahead and, you know, whenever you want to in your opponent's turn, activate Skeleton, target Ding, summon Ding, use Ding to send a card, then you're going to activate the Rank of Magic Launch because he has no materials. You're going to summon your true king of all chlamydia and defense and attach this spell to him. And then you're going to just, you know, activate his effect whenever you feel it's necessary. Keep in mind that also you can just use Galatea to shuffle this and then set your crescendo for your follow-up plays. And you still have Nightmare to also get you an additional follow-up play, which would be your World Wand. 
So you're set to OTK your opponent on the next turn, as well as Union Carrier is be probably staying on the field because of Calamities. It's just going to get you more resources by targeting a Gal and then equipping another Orcus Nightmare from the deck or Gearsu. It's just going to get insane, you guys. And your counter trap is going to make sure that if you try to get too aggressive and your opponent like has some kind of interruption, like if they didn't have Nibiru for this combo, but they just happen to, ha, I drew it for my sixth card. You can crescendo. So it just makes your push for an next turn safe too. That's off of one card, you guys. Scrap Recycler is making true king of all calamities. Just so you guys know. Just by putting in two extra cards in your main deck, you're able to do this playing Orcus. And I feel like this is probably the strongest Scrap Recycler combo you can do with Orcus. Because it gives you the same Orcus combo that you would normally get. The only difference is instead of making a link like, you know, any other generic that you would normally make. You're just making Union Carrier, and you're using Union Carrier's effect. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This was absolutely my idea that I came up with. I wanted to share it with you guys as well as the deck list. Um, you guys are always welcome to change it up. I don't recommend net decking. I really don't. You can always just learn from somebody's list and fine-tune it to however you want it to be. Um, but <clears throat> thank you guys so much. I'm going to say a quick prayer, and I'm out. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Jesus. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth just as it is in heaven. Please give us this day our daily bread, Lord, and please forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to temptation, Father, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the glory, and the power forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Thank you, Father. Amen. And all right, you guys, peace out, y'all.